Hello, my friends. Today we're settling the age-old debate, hiking shoes versus hiking boots. Hi, everyone. This is Andrea with Adventures and Dreams. And today I'm bringing you another tip episode. And this time it's the ultimate showdown of hiking shoes versus hiking boots. We're going to compare 10 different aspects to help you make this decision. We'll look at things like the weather, features of the shoes, pros and cons of them, and just compare different situations where one might make more sense than the other. Is there going to be a clear winner? You'll find out at the end of this video. Hiking shoes and hiking boots come in three different heights. The low cut, the medium cut and the high cut. So as a general rule, we can say that the higher the shoe is, the more it will weigh. But it also depends on the material that is used. My hiking shoes from Salomon are really lightweight and I wear them whenever I can. My hiking boots are also from Salomon, but they weigh over twice as much as my hiking shoes. Still, they came quite a way since the early years when they were really heavy. But the clear winner of this contest is definitely the hiking shoe. Both are super comfortable and I can wear them all day, but I think the hiking boot has just a little bit more padding, so it has a slight edge over the hiking shoe. But honestly, the padding on the hiking shoe is almost as good as the one on the boots. I never had blisters in either one of them, so they're both winners in my book. Both my hiking shoes and my hiking boots didn't require any break in time. They were immediately comfortable from day one, and like I said before already, I never had any blisters in either one of the shoes. It is super easy to get into my hiking shoes. They have special strings that I can just pull tight really quickly and then lock them in. So putting my shoes on only takes a few seconds. And taking them off is just as fast. I just pull the lock loose and then I can already get out of my shoes. The hiking boots take a lot longer than this. They're meant to be snug around the ankle and so it takes a bit of time to pull them tight and to just lock everything in properly. But once you're finished with that, the hiking boots stay nice and tight all day long. They just stay snug compared to the hiking shoes that could become loose just a little bit over time. I tighten them twice to make sure that the strings don't open up along the way. That has happened to me a couple of times and so now with this double knot this never happens anymore. Taking the hiking boots off is a little bit faster. You just loosen up all the knots and then you pull the string loose again and then you can get out of your boot pretty quickly. But it really can't compare to the hiking shoes with those quick strings that make it so easy to pull them tight and loose again. When it comes to breathability, the hiking shoe is the clear winner because they're just shorter than the hiking boot. The hiking boots, yeah, they're just taller and so they keep more heat in and they're usually also insulated a little bit to keep warm in the fall and in the spring. So whenever I can, I also take some sandals with me because they're just a lot more comfortable around camp in the summer. If you already got some wire out of this video, it would be great if you could hit the like button to support my channel. Both have really good traction. 
but my hiking shoes are a little bit more worn out because I already had them for eight years and you can see that here on the back. My hiking boots might be about seven years old but I don't wear them nearly as often as my hiking shoes and so they still look pretty good. Both work really well on all sorts of terrain. They have a good grip on the rocks uh, with the special rubber that they have, also on the dirt and everything you just walk through. What I really like about my hiking shoes is the range of motion. They really can't beat the hiking boots because those are pretty stiff comparatively. You can see here in this motion that I can still keep the shoe on the ground while with my hiking boot I can't do that, uh, the shoe just kind of lifts up. Scrambling up rocks feels a lot more natural and secure when I use my hiking shoes. The hiking boots are a lot more stiff and so it feels less natural to scramble up these rocks here. The soles also don't seem to give the same way as they do on the hiking shoes. This is especially noticeable when I high step up these rocks here. So when it comes to range of motion, the hiking shoe is the clear winner for me. The hiking shoe has a nice toe cap which protects you when you hit rocks and other things. It's even more prominent on the hiking boots. They are really meant to protect you in tough terrain, but we'll talk about that in a little bit. There's almost no crampon welt on the hiking shoes. If you hike in environments where crampons or micro spikes are necessary, these hiking shoes would definitely not be the right choice anyway. The crampon welt on the hiking boots is much bigger. Both have a bellows tongue to keep water and dirt out. The hiking shoes are so short that they offer no protection for your ankles. The hiking boots are a bit more stiff, but I wouldn't count on them protecting you if you run into trouble and your ankle twists. The best thing you can do is exercise your ankles so they get stronger over time and be mindful where you walk so you don't run into situations where your ankle twists and sprains and then you're in pain for the rest of your trip. If you're not on a trail, you have to be a little bit more careful with your hiking shoes because they are so short. You could possibly run into branches or into rocks and your ankles could get scraped or hurt. It's also pretty easy to get dust and rock into your shoes. You can prevent this by using gaiters like these here. The hiking boots offer more protection than the hiking shoes do for sure. The boots are high enough to protect ankles from scraping and other things. Dust and dirt also doesn't really get into the top of your boots. When it's super rainy and wet, I definitely trust my hiking boots more. I went through many puddles with these Gore-Tex shoes and I never had wet feet. I would not go through mud like this with my hiking shoes for sure. I've been in many situations like this before in early spring when the snow melts and the only thing you can do is wear your boots and just go through it. If you still have some snow patches on your path, those boots are also better than the hiking shoes because you might sink into the snow and then you get wet feet. I briefly want to talk about protection from snakes as well. I know there is a myth that the hiking boots will protect you more than the hiking shoes, but truth be told, the snakes could bite right through the material and you could still get hurt. So the best thing you can really do is be aware of your surroundings and pay close attention Stay on the path and just be always alert in areas like these here. So do we have a clear winner between hiking shoes and hiking boots? The hiking shoes weigh less, they're easier to put on and off, they breathe better and they have a better range of motion. The hiking boot on the other side is slightly more comfortable it has more features for things like micro spikes. The ankles are protected just a little bit more. And it also protects better from the elements like water and muddy areas. There was no clear winner for breaking in the shoes, 
but that really depends on the shoe that you have and the traction was also very equal between the two of them. <laughs> we went for quite a bit of detail in this video to try to figure out which one might be better. The hiking shoes, <laughs> the hiking shoes or the hiking boots, all this wildlife here. <laughs> But truth be told, they're both equally good and I just use them in different situations. So the hiking boot I use mostly in the fall and in the spring when it's cooler outside and uh, there's more rain possibly, the rivers run a little higher and I might have some puddles to go through or snow patches, uh, even mud <laughs> in some situations, especially after the snow melts. I also use them when I go on longer treks, on multi-day backpacking trips, uh, because they're just a little bit more comfortable over a long period of time. But the hiking shoes I get way more use out of because I use them almost exclusively on my day trips. They're just a little bit more breathable, they air out better, um, they have a better range of motion. It's easier to get in and out of those shoes and my feet don't get quite as warm. Uh, but I also use them on backpacking trips when it's warm and dry and I just have a pretty easy terrain to go through and a short hike. So yeah, I've really used them both for day hikes and for backpacking trips and I cannot tell you which one is better than the other because it really truly depends on the situation that you're in. If you want to see more tips like this, I have a whole playlist dedicated to this on my channel. In one of my previous videos, I covered all the essential gear that I take on my backpacking trip, as well as some of the nice to have things that I always bring, but they're not really necessary. So I see you in my next videos or in my next adventure that is coming soon.